Hello everyone, Liam here, and welcome back to Harry Potter. Half Blood Prince, and the other half just plain weird. Because this is what this game is. Weird. But in a good way. Like, this channel is weird, but in a good way, I think. Look at this, Harry's part of the, the mean girls of uh, Hogwarts. <laughs> yep, that reminds me of school. Just talk to a bunch of girls and they'll just run away. <laughs> okay, right, let's talk to Ron. Do you think Dean sees in her, Ginny? I don't know. She's... She's got... I don't know. Got nice. She's got nice. Come. Uh, I need to uh, see Ginny. Yeah, me too. Harry, could you get me some sweets from Honeydukes and to write two essays and make a shrinking solution for homework? Thanks. I'll meet you back here later. No. You come. To okay. Why do you need sweets? You look like you're already cracking up on e numbers and cocaine. And crack and meth. Oh, Harry's under the thumb doing these tasks for Ginny Weasley. Oh, okay, shrinking solution for Ginny. Why does she need a shrinking solution? Oh, I should probably get Nick. Forgotten how to summon him. Hi, Nick. Oh, there he is. I wonder if he helps anyone else um, around the grounds. Oh, giant ass crest over there. Take that. I oh, know you're see through. You can't. <laughs> Never mind. Look at Nick. It just looks like he's just been hung from a noose. This is very cozy. This music's way too loud as well. I can barely hear myself think, and I really need to think during these games. Is this Potions Club? The no, it's the Pump Club. I've heard you're brilliant at coming this year. Thanks. I just want to make a shrinking solution. I've got to get back to eat to someone. But sorry, if you want to use our equipment, you'll have to join the Pump Club. All you need to do is come over there. Okay, thanks. And a £20 subscription fee every month. Do I really want to join the Potions Club? Nick, you don't know how I can join this Potions Club, do you? <laughs> I need a, I need a nearly headless Nick in, in my life so I can just know what I'm doing. Do I need to make... Oh, I need to make... I'm not even going to pronounce that because I can't. I can't read. I'm not even dyslexic. I'm just stupid. If you can beat our dicks, you can join the Pump Club. The Lubulus Potion is one of my favourites. Who cares? I don't care about your life story. That looks like cum. <laughs> right, I think that means I need to bubble up the thing until it turns red. There we go. I remember. I remember science. Oh, I've got a time limit this time. How unfortunate. Eh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, God, i got 30 seconds left to do all that. That's impossible. At least my time goes up a bit. I guess. Oh, I knew there will be loads of these mini potions mini games. Bet that'll be the last level as well. Instead of like fighting off, um, oh god, what have I done? Yes, yeah, so I bet the last boss is going to be um, making a potion. Instead of like something cool like fending off a uh, lot of zombie people. What the hell? Well, it's the start. Oh, for fuck, i got to try that all again. Oh no, I couldn't even do the first bit. Okay, right, let's actually try hard. I could just cut through this. No one wants to see me like doing this potion mini game in real time. See what I can achieve without talking. This goes to show I can't multitask. You are good. No one else has come that well before. Thanks. Can I shrink my shrinking? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Wow. No. Oh, another thing to sort of do. Hey, I bet it does. I bet Harry has had a lot of experience from doing that. Wait until it bubbles up again before using it. Okay. God, these look like little pickles. Oh, God, Harry's eyesight must be so shit that he's missing the big cauldron in front of him. He needs double specs. That's what he needs. Oh, okay, come on. Come on, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that booty. Am I doing that right? Okay, it's bubbling. I think I did it right. Oh, God, this is hard. Come on, come on. Get that time up. Get that time up. Uh, fuck. What is that? Rats. <laughs> Keep dropping them. <laughs> oh, finally. This is so hard to put things in cauldron. Nope, not that one. Fucking idiot. Oh, you bastard. Well, we're never going to get past this goddamn potions training thing. <sighs> oh, Ginny better be impressed by this. I just feel like a complete dumbass <laughs> every time I just miss the cauldron completely. Why is putting things into cauldrons so hard? All right, okay, last bit, last bit. Come on, come on. I swear to God, this better be the last potion making of today. Second tired of potion making. <sighs> And we don't get an achievement for that. He hasn't even got a grasp onto that. It's just stuck to the to the palm of his hand. But I've got to meet this push, Ginny Weasley. That come oh, here. That's okay. Come back any time. No, I won't. Oh, not this prick. Looks like you're going to be late, doesn't it? <laughs> Fine. I'll beat the crap out of you then, you fat potato. I wonder what happened to him in the last film. I've forgotten all the spells already, so I'm just bashing buttons. I've got to, have to dodge as well. I've forgotten everything. I'm so prepared to fight Voldemort. But he's not moved so much in his life before. I don't want to do Expelliarmus. Wait, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. No, I don't want to charm him. Or do I? Do I want to charm him? Hmm, nah. Not today. Uh, Expelliarmus. I don't even know how to do Protego. Okay, so that's Expelliarmus. Okay, right. That's easy. Expelliarmus! 
Yeah, fuck you. Now I've cornered him. <laughs> no way up. No way up. Just accept defeat now and it will be over soon. Bullying from a distance. I'll get you back for that. Now you know. What <laughs> I love how he like walked all the way up towards me just to tell me that and then run off. That was great, Harry. Crab and Goyle are always bullying Harry. Hey, you couldn't come and help us, could you? I'm the Puffle the Puff Dueling Club captain, and some of the students in my house could really use some help with bullying Harry. Well, great. Okay, everyone. Where is everyone? <laughs> God, his hair looks so shiny and greasy. I wasn't ready. Could you teach us how to charge spells too? Oh, for fuck's sake. Sure, I don't even know how to do that. I have the power! Stupefy. Damn. I want to do that again. <laughs> I've got someone else as well. <laughs> Poor kid. If you fancy another go, just sign up for a duel on the notice board over there. How many notice boards are around this school? There's like a shit ton of notice boards. It's hard to keep up. Right, let's get back to leaving the friend zone. And she is waiting for me. Very, very still as well. She is like still as a uh, statue. <laughs> Hi, Ginny. I've made that butt um, solution for you. Thanks, Harry. That's brilliant. You wouldn't believe all of that as I had to fuck my way back to you. I'm here now. Shall we suck my big D? Oh, sorry, Harry. I've arranged to go with Dean. He's not stopped moaning since I told him I couldn't <laughs> go, and now I can. <laughs> did they just yeah. do a record Dean, scratch? No way did they do a record scratch. <laughs> That's amazing. See you later, Harry. What was that potion you gave to Ginny? 20 gold pieces and I'm wanked on the hypno. It's just... I'm starting to think Prince was a bit... Dodgy. Isn't that Katie Bell? Put the money in the bag! Put it in! Katie! Katie! Are you alright? Malfoy hung that necklace. Katie was given the necklace in the ladies' toilet. How could Draco have come in there? Who's there? What's he wearing? I'm resigned after today's match. McClagan can have my spot. Fine. Love juice. You look dreadful, Ron. Is that why you put her thumb in his cup? Don't know what you're talking about. You know what, Harry? I'm feeling really wankered on the hypno. <laughs> Let's bully Luna. <laughs> to the fire. <laughs> Look at her go. Wee! <laughs> I love this angelic music they're playing as well as I, <laughs> as I push Luna across the uh, Great Hall. <laughs> Surprisingly, that noise was coming from Ron, not Luna. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a complete waste of time. But yep, yeah, <laughs> she's now there. Okay, well, moving on. <laughs> she would just move Hermione into the fire as well. So I can't flipend on them. I can just walk into them. In the fire. In the fire. Oh, that's as close as we can get to the fire. Anyway, let's move on. If it isn't Potter and stupid weasel Kent. God, Malvoy looks different. There's something about him. Leave this to me. I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, you got this, Ron. Fuck! And now for you, Potter. Drop your coat and grab your toes. I'm on a butter your bread. I love how Ron's just standing there now. I mean, feel free to jump in at any point. Right in the butt. Sorry about that, Harry. So you should be, bastard. Try not to fall off your broom this year. I mean, to be fair, that was like, what, six years ago? Why are you bringing up the past, you prick? Have I lost Ron yet? I hope so. If we have to cast Lumos in here every single time we're in here, why doesn't the school board just, you know, put lights in here or candles, you know? Still feeling lucky wrong? <laughs> oh god, I feel bad, I'm just attacking Ron all the time. Those Quidditch bitch boys, so noisy, so rowdy, you're one of them. A captain, captain too. Oh, sorry. You might as well eat my asshole. All the team captains do. Thanks. Are you there, Nick? <laughs> Do you think he's just like tired of me Good calling him all the time? Let's go and slither in Ginny's skin. What's got into him? He's just feeling sexy. Right. Time for our pre-match fucking. So, get your warm pre cum and let's get fucking. Oh, uh, warm up? Shouldn't we be doing stretches or something? Okay, we're not even on the pitch. How do I boost? How do I go faster? Woo! <laughs> God, nearly. The game's so dangerous. God, I'm getting motion sickness. I can't imagine what I'd be like on a broomstick. It must, like, hurt the crotch area, being on a broomstick up in the air. Because you've got your whole weight on this uh, stick in between your legs. And it must hurt. God, where is this camera taking me? Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's a brain tumor for sure. Come on, Captain! Why don't you catch it? Your broomstick clearly goes faster than mine. So are they going to be practice dummies on the actual match? Or do I just have to fly into other players to earn more time? God, it took me ages. <clears throat> I think we're going to lose. I can feel it. 
Look at that two frames per second crowd going wild. They look like they've been animated in uh, Into the Spider-Verse or something. Well, this match is going to be over very, very soon. Isn't uh, Malfoy supposed to be the seeker? That does not look like Malfoy. Can't he just commentate the, other, the rest of the match? I miss the good old days where you just go through a couple of rings and boost and go like 900 miles per hour. Hard to tell where the game wants me to go. Do they? Come on, grab it. <laughs> like right on top of it, Harry. Oh, God, that's bright. I can't see shit. Come on, Nearly there. Why is Ginny here? She should be scoring goals. Not following me around like a lost puppy. You're near it, but he's not fucking grabbing it. Finally! So many badges. A part of the uh, Girl Scouts or something. You shouldn't have done it, Harry. Feeling Ron is illegal in organized competitions. I suppose I should have just fucked McLaggen and the trials instead. Don't worry. Your secrets are safe with me. Oh, and Ron only thought I'd given it to him. It turns out he can fuck his own ass. Brother, ugh. Is this all real, or is it just happening inside my head? Well, he won't need me to Douglas Conquer. And you'd better decide to take me to Slughorn's Christmas party. How does it feel when you see me and Ginny with Dean's Conquer? I know, Harry. I've seen how you look at Dean's Conquer. Hermione? I'm sure Ron... Oh, don't worry about Ron. He can fuck his own muscle. I can't help if I've got Hermione's because there's no stopping it. Yeah. I better go. One one. Ah. Have fun. Have you seen Luna Lovegood anywhere? Seen? No. Heard? Yes. Nick knows all the tea. He knows what's going down in the school. He knows all the goss. She's down by the boathouse anyway. Love how he just uh, takes note on where everyone is and the whereabouts of everything. He's my eyes and ears. Why is she all the way down here? <laughs> like the furthest possible place away from Slughorn's party. I mean, wouldn't it make sense if she was, I don't know, nearby the Ravenclaw common room? Unless this is where she sleeps. Hi, Luna. That's... you look... yeah. Professor Slughorn asked me to set these fireworks off to announce his past party. But I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with them. We just need to cast Incendio on their fuses. <laughs> he sent he sent her down here because uh, he didn't want her to attend the party. <laughs> yeah, she go over there, play with the boats and fireworks. That's pretty. Let's light the others. Burn them all! What if it's Ginny? You're my second option. Because apparently Harry doesn't really know that many female characters in the in this world. It's either her or Professor McGonagall. I love how he, he sent Luna to do these fireworks, but she doesn't. She didn't even know how to set them off. What a smart man. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. I mean, setting fireworks off, yeah, that's definitely no good. I can't hear a word he's saying because of these fireworks. Let's run. Let's bring Nick as well. I want Nick I want Nick to uh, be third wheel on this date. Can't go anywhere without Nick. He's like my wingman. Oh, it's in the dungeons. Well, it's like really, really underground. It's like an underground rave we're going to. I feel like this isn't the right way to the party. Just looks like he's just sending us down deeper and deeper into the dungeons. Oh, now we're going... All the way up the stairs. God, this castle is massive. Are we like on the seventh floor now or something? Harry, my boy, glad you came. There are so many people I want. <laughs> there's no one here. <laughs> Professor Slughorn, there's no one else here. Good. Of course not. You shit. And a good job too. I could do with a spot of help. I'm sure you and Miss, uh, uh... Love something. Here, we'll soon get the place in shape. I was going to punch Miss, uh, uh... Love juice. But time has not been willing. Could you punch Miss, uh... Love juice. For me, perhaps? Good. Oh, I need some vodka, some triple sec. Oh, okay. Not only am I a good potions maker, I'm a pretty good drink, drink mixer. Bartender. <laughs> That's all I need to do, just stir it. Make up your mind what colour you want the goddamn punch. Gone through every single colour in the spectrum. Oh, okay, right. Uh, am I being timed on this? Exactly are we making? Oh, God, lemon. Is that right? No? Why am I being timed on this? Pumpkin juice. Yeah, because that, that complements well with uh, lemons and limes. The hell are we making? <laughs> is this a cocktail? <laughs> I'm not even too sure, or is this a potion? Whatever it is, it's one strong fucking drink. Two shots of vodka. Looks like we're gonna get fucked up. Is that the one? What's that, salt? I hope you like a salty drink. <laughs> I know Harry does. There we go. Jesus Christ. Can't catch a break, even at a party. 
wonderful and nectar from the gods. We're gonna get our drinks on and we're gonna party and get crunk and rock out. Stop there, Potter. I only wish to convey a message. Professor Cumbledore asked me to give you his best escort. Oh. You see, he's traveling. Traveling? Where? Take your hands off me, you filthy bell. What is all this fuss about? Okay, okay. I was grabbing. Happy. I'll escort him out. <laughs> I love how he didn't open the door for Snape. Get your lesson, Potter. My lesson? Ten points from Gryffindor for sulking and marked. I mean, this distance is pretty obvious. How have they not clocked that I'm not? I'm following, not following them. Like, how have they not clocked? <laughs> I'm right behind them. I've, I've even got the Lumo spell on. <laughs> this is dangerously close as well. Like, as if they've not suspected a thing. You just want to steal my glory. Get your voice down. Someone might be following us about 10 meters away from us. Maybe I did text that Katie Bell girl. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. This is my moment. Maybe I did text that girl. Maybe I didn't. You. It's protection. I don't need protection. I was chosen. What's it to you? I swore to protect you. I made the unbreakable. Ah, swell. The stars are veiled. Something stirs in the east. A sleepless malice. The eye of the enemy is moving. So, I wash my hair. You're you. silly, right? Can you blink like once, please? You're scaring me. Oh god, it's Amy Winehouse. What's she doing here? She doesn't live here. Just expel the arm as her and then she'll die. This might be one of the easiest boss battles ever. God, she's not really putting up much of a fight, is she? Come on, one more, one more. Revenge will be mine, bitch. Alright, now stab her, stab her in the eye with your wand. Oh no, she's slowly, slowly getting away. Don't you see? She wants you serious. You are mine now. You belong to me. <laughs> oh, bye, Ginny. Ginny! <laughs> I love how he shouts out Ginny without really caring. Keep running! I'll find you! I'll find you, and yeah, I'm chasing Bellatrix. Oh, again? Okay. You know what I've come to realise? Wizard jewels are pretty underwhelming, aren't they? Not really. Not much really happens. They're not like as spectacular as lightsaber fights. Just a lot of standing around with uh, wizard jewels. See, if wizards had lightsabers, it'd make it a bit more interesting. Jenny! <laughs> no hurry! It's a trap! Get your filthy hands off of her! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god. This game never ceases to surprise me sometimes. I mean, how weird people look. Everyone looks so weird in this game. I love it. Is that like a no smoking sign that they've installed there? I hope this is how it goes down with the fight between me and Voldemort. I can just expel him and he'll just fall in his butt constantly. This is way too easy. I missed the good old days where uh, Wizard's Jewels were like me playing tennis with a statue using Expelliarmus. The Borough Defender. That sounds like the most shittiest superhero ever. If you'd not got there, I could have had a werewolf for a sister. Where were you? Yeah. What was he yeah. doing? Tucked in bed, no doubt. Dad said he checked Borgard and Burks. He said Malfoy was looking at a vanishing cabinet. A vanishing cabinet? What would he want with one of those? I don't know. But Dad said it was still there in the shop. Oh dear, we are in trouble. He's up. I just don't know what it is. Hi, Harry. Hi, Arsel. Harry, I think Professor Slutthorn is having another ball party for invited guests. Maybe Slutthorn can make you a queen. Queen for Slut. See you, Harry. Hermione, have you seen Malfoy doing suspicious? Malfucking. Oh, really, Harry? Are you still worried about Draco? Ron told me his dad found out Malfoy was looking at a va vanishing cabinet in Borgin and Burke's. But there's no way he could sneak come into the vash. The auras are searching everyone who comes in. The vash. They're even checking everyone's ass. Then you tell me how he fucked off the Marauder's map. I'll show you. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. There he is. The only one in the castle, apparently. He's there, fucking. His dad in the seventh floor corridor. So? But sometimes he does fucking vash. I'm going to find out what he's up to. I'm going to the seventh floor. What's that I hear? Sounds like hot cum to me. Cum goes cold fast. You better use my shortcut. Just say happy head. Do you really think you'll find anything, Harry? Yes, I'll prove he's vanishing. Vanish All right, let's, find, let's investigate what he's up to. Happy head. <laughs> I'm not even talking to him. Hello, Nick. Fancy an adventure. Uh, have you seen Draco Malfoy? 
Not today, no, but I have seen him. Headless Nick has seen everyone. I hope we can bring Nearly Headless Nick with us to search for Horcruxes. That'd be amazing. The four of us, me, Ron, Hermione, ha, <laughs> lol. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Hey, Ron. Hey, you! You know the rules. You shouldn't be out at night. Have you seen Malfoy? When? Just now. He's always hanging around fucking his dad on this corridor. And I just found this. It looks like instructions for a love potion. You don't even know it's his. I'm going to ask Hermione what this potion is. I bet that will give us a clue to what Malfoy is up to. You're in luck. She's fucking clagging in potions now. Careful. She's still in the right mood. So you won't come with me then? I think I'd rather face fuck that troll we saw in our first year. Why is she in the potions class? It's like dead at night. What time is this supposed to be? Is this like late at night? It feels like late at night. Why doesn't anyone sleep in this castle? I would watch that TV show. Harry has a private eye and uh, with his assistant, the ghost of Nearly Headless Nick. And they'll just solve crimes together. Uh, to be fair, it'll be Nearly Headless Nick doing, the, uh, doing all the work because he knows where everyone is. Hello, Hermione. Do you recognise this potion? It's obvious what this is. So, what is it? Why ask me? You should ask the half conquer prince. All right, I will. Well, I can make the potion and find out. What is it? You should come to- Oh, fuck's sake. More potion making. Oh, wait, well, yeah, we've got more mechanics now to make potions with. Like stirring and adding slugs and shit. Seven? <laughs> Look at the amount of stirring I need to do. That's insane. Some coriander. And stir it until it turns a dark grey. Because that looks scrum diddly umptious, doesn't it? How long have I got to stir this for? <laughs> There we go. We did it. Back again, are we, Harry? <laughs> He's only just noticed. I've only been here like half an hour making a potion. You're sure it's Dad loved you, sir? Of course, that grey and sludgy finish, all characteristic. But then you should know, my lad, you made it. Uh, I was just experimenting. But I do hope you're not intending to take it. It is a restricted potion. I thought it takes a month to make this shit. Dad loved you, potion. You use that if you want to fuck someone else, sir. Dad. I wonder what Malfoy would want with that. Voldemort isn't going to trust Malfoy with a mission. You haven't got a scrap of evidence, have you? Maybe this no, is Malfoy. Maybe he's uh, used something. Polyjuice Potion to look like Hermione. Cumbledore wants you to go to his office for another lesson. Harry, when you see Cumbledore, don't say anything about Malfoy. That bitch is up to something. He's sneaking around fucking his dad and he's even got crabs. Yes, I admit that is out of character. But you don't have evidence that he's doing anything. If he's not, then why is he sneaking around the seventh floor and... The seventh floor? That's it! He's using the Room of Requirement! That's why he keeps disappearing off the Marauder's map! Yeah! No shit, Sherlock! Well, if he is using the room, he won't be able to see what he's doing in there. That's why we used it for... Oh, James. Concentrate on your lesson with Cumbledore. He's waiting for you in his office. Well, that will have to wait until next time, because I am done with this part of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Hope you've enjoyed watching today's episode, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And as always, I will see you next Tuesday. Goodbye. And you'd like him to collect me? Yes, you slut. Getting close to Professor Sluthorn will be useful. Well, now we have a hot puck. Juices flowing. Let us turn to liquid fuck. My, 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 Harry. So it's clear you've inherited your mother's talent. She was a bad fucker. Jab.